Hello guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Firstly, I'd like to apologise for the uh, bad lighting. I forgot the charging battery pack last night. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, do it the old school way before I add a little light to help me see the carbonation and stuff. Anyway, let's crack on with it. I've got a craft lager review for here. It's uh, by the Magic Rock Brewing Company. There's a little close up of the can wrap. And it is uh, Magic Lager, no tricks. Yeah, uh, uh, can, they ain't really pulled no tricks with the can, have they? It's a bit plain looking. But yeah, I've had some uh, well, craft beers from these guys before and they've been okay, actually. Pretty, pretty good brewery, I'd say. Uh, it comes in at 4.2% ABV. It's a 330 ml can and it came out of uh, uh, Advent, beer advent calendar uh, by the beer brewing company, I believe. And uh, yeah, let's crack it open. But I think if you buy it in this, uh, if you buy it online or whatever, it's probably about two or three quid a can. All right, let's get it in the glass, shall we? Rather pale looking lager, this one. This is rather pale. Uh, Quite low levels of low levels of carbonation as well. You're probably not going to be able to pick it up because I've not got me light. But uh, you have to take my word for it. It's yeah, low carbonation, and there's little little bits of sediment in this as well actually. Um, yeah, it doesn't look great if I'm honest. I really don't. Uh, the head looks quite nice. Nice sort of brilliant white head. Uh, quite compact bubbles. But yeah. Uh, the colour's a bit pale, as I say. The carbonation is very low, almost flat looking. Let's get the aroma. Very light aroma on this, very, very light. Struggling to get much at all. I'm getting uh, some hops. That's about it really, and that is very, very light. Yes, yeah, it's just, it smells, it's like smelling a bud or something. It's just uh, very, it smells like a light beer to me. Well, you know, like a light, like bud light or something like that. It looks a bit like it as well, doesn't it? Anyway, let's uh, let's give it the benefit of that, see if it tastes any better. Cheers, guys. Bosh. Very, very crisp, first impressions. Very crisp, and it is refreshing. I give it that. Let's try again. It's, it's very zesty, especially for a lager. There's a lot of zest in this. Like light, light, very light biscuit malts in the background. Main thing for me, a slight herbalness as well. Main thing for me with this one is the hops. It's a very hop heavy uh, lager for me, especially for like a light lager, 4.2%. Yeah, it's a light lager, 4.2%. And for me, they're like no noticeable German hops. They're almost quite pilsner like, pils like for me. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they use some uh, German style hops in this one for sure. If I'm honest, I don't think it's great considering, <laughs> I mean, the end day is a lager, but they're gonna be knocking this out, I would expect for two or three quid a can, a tiny little can like that. For me, you just can't justify that price because uh, it's just no better than your average macro lager, really, to be honest with you. In my opinion, it's just an okay lager. It's okay. Perhaps not even average. It's hardly any carbonation in it, and I think this could really do with a bit more carbonation, to be honest. Although there is no widget in this glass. It might be a bit better uh, in a different glass, perhaps, but it's not going to... Uh, 
make much difference really. To be honest with you, I think they nailed the naming of this beer. No tricks, because there ain't been no tricks with this one. It's just a very lacking, unexciting beer, lager. Uh, but they do say magic lager. There ain't no magic in this. There's not no magic in this. There's definitely no tricks. I do fail to see where the magic is coming from. Apart from it being a bit more zesty than the norm. It's a bit plain, it's lacking character. For me, I definitely wouldn't buy this. Like I say, coming up from an advent calendar. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't buy it if I see it again, no way. It'd have to be like 50p or something for me to even bother with it. I'm going to give it a five and a half out of ten. It's just meh. That's my opinion anyway, guys. If you've tried it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, do you rate it better? Do you rate it around the same? Let me know what you think. I uh, just want to say I appreciate you all for tuning in. And uh, if you could smash that like button and subscribe if you're new around here, I'd appreciate that as well. And hopefully I'll see some of you on the next one. Bye-bye, darlings.